Hello and welcome back to my channel. I decided to make some cinnamon rolls and I know I haven't posted in a while so here I go. In my bowl here I'm going to add two and a half cups of self-rising flour, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, three teaspoons of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one and a half cups of plain yogurt. Um, I'm going to have everything that I used in the description box below um, and just pretty much follow the video for um, step by steps and I'm going to try to put that in the description box as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put everything in my bowl here and get everything all mixed up and then I'm going to knead it by hand just until it all comes together and there's not flour all around and it doesn't quite feel too sticky. So as you can see, I got everything all mixed up. This is where I'm going to add my extra half of um, plain yogurt. You see it start to looking a little crumbly and kind of flaky. That's going to make the texture of the cinnamon roll flaky and nice and decadent. See, just like that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add my last half a cup of my plain yogurt and get that mixed in. And after it's nice and mixed, like I said before, I'm going to knead it until everything comes together. And I did say I was adding vanilla. I did say that at the beginning, but this is when I added my vanilla with my um, yogurt. So, as you can see, it's coming together a little bit better. There's still some flour at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and clear out my whisk and um, get everything kneaded by hand. So, I'm just going to use a spoon and just scrape everything out the whisk. And, um, yeah, just knead it by hand, like I said. So, I'm just going to bring everything all together until all the flour that's left in the bottom of the bowl is all mixed in and my dough doesn't feel sticky. I'm not going to over knead it. I just knead it until everything comes together, which is only probably about a minute, if that long. I don't want to have a tough cinnamon roll, so it's definitely not that long of kneading, as you can tell from the video. I did not speed up this part just so you can see for yourself how long I needed it for. And it was roughly less than or around a minute. Okay, so now that that's all come together, it's a little tacky, but it's not overly sticky. I'm going to roll it out, but first I'm going to put on a clean countertop a little flour. Then I'm going to lay down my dough, and then I'm going to sprinkle a little flour on top of that. And of course, cover my rolling um, pin with a little flour so that it doesn't stick to that. And then I'm going to roll my dough to about a half inch of thickness. Or until it's the thickness that I want it to be. I was trying to roughly go for about a half inch of thickness. And then I'm going to get my melted butter spread on. And sprinkle my cinnamon sugar. And just get this whole cinnamon roll coming. So I just want to make sure that it's still not sticking at the bottom. Trying not to add too much flour. 
um, but just wanted to not stick to the bottom. But here is my overall shape of my dough. Now, it's not a perfect rectangle by any shape, form, or fashion. And I did have a couple of holes that I didn't really pay attention to. But here's my butter. Like I said before, just going to paint that all over my dough. And I did not mix together my cinnamon and sugar, but you can use roughly um, four tablespoons of sugar with about a tablespoon and a half of cinnamon. Mix that up and then you can sprinkle that all over your dough. But in my case, I already had this container of cinnamon sugar. Um, it literally just has cinnamon and sugar. Um, so I just sprinkled that all over my dough. I did not rub it in. Um, I just tightly at this point rolled my cinnamon rolls together, tucking it slightly, kind of pulling it up and tucking it back in until it came all together. And here is my big beautiful roll. This is where I used my bread cutter and I cut off the ends. Now if you don't have a bread cutter, you can use a serrated knife and just kind of like press through like you see. I went for a half, an inch and a half size rolls, as you can tell, and I'm going to place those inside my greased pan. Um, this is just a cast iron pan that I just put a little butter in. Um, I primarily use this one cast iron pan for my baking, but I just put everything in. I squeeze the sides like I'm showing you there and place it in the pan. So... It's all nice and in there, and these are going to grow nice and fluffy and big. Um, I brushed the tops of them with a little egg wash just because I want that golden brown color on the top of them um, without them burning. Um, but I just browned the tops of it in the oven with this egg wash. They come out this nice golden brown color. And while that's browning and cooking in the oven, I decided to have a nice little tea break with my favorite cup my best friend got me with my mother's milk tea in it. So now it's time to check on my cinnamon rolls. And here they are fresh out the oven. You can see those swirls, that nice golden brown color. You can see the texture of the cinnamon rolls. Like I said before, it's not a yeasty roll. Really easy to do. Just flour and yogurt. Nothing else, really. Um, but it's, oh my God, these were so good. Now, I would show you all how to make a nice glaze to go over the top. But I realized that I did not have any confection sugar or powdered sugar. So I just used frosting that I had in my house already. And just slathered that on top of all of them. And they looked like I got it from Cinnabon. Um, Non-sponsored. <laughs> but uh, they were just as good. If you know how to make your own glaze, you can definitely use your own glaze once your cinnamon rolls have cooled down a bit. Um, oh, forgot to mention, in the oven, 375 for about... 20 to 25 minutes is what I did for my cinnamon rolls. But here's the frosting that I used. And like I said, I just slathered that right on top. And it started to kind of melt in between all the layers. And it got like really, really sweet. And oh my God, these were perfect. And really fast, came together really fast for a beautiful morning, quick breakfast, snack, dessert, anything like that. But here they are. My family loved them. Please, please, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Oh my God, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Ooh, these things were so good. Oh my God, these things did not last. I swear, you could double this recipe um, or you can reduce the recipe depending on the size of your family. These definitely freeze well. You can freeze them before you um, bake them, of course, and have them already cut. 
and do them that way for another day. But these were awesome. Thanks for watching. Bye.